Today, Ukraine is gaining back ground in the war that started back in February. President Zelensky says Russian troops retreated from a key city that was occupied for months. But with infrastructure destroyed there and really across that country, Denver 7's Colette Bordelon spoke with a medical professional from Denver who's in Kyiv tonight and hopes this war is not forgotten. It's been almost nine months since Russia invaded Ukraine. Nine months of war without medical care for so many communities. A lot of uh, medical providers, doctors, nurses uh, went to the front lines or fled the country or have been killed. Doug Ami, a physician assistant, came all the way from Denver. Between three providers from America, uh, we've seen 300 patients. Since the start of November, a small team of volunteers have driven a mobile medical care unit through seven locations near Kyiv, many that were occupied by Russian forces. Beautiful people, nicest people, and uh, but there's a lot of PTSD, there's a lot of trauma. Most of these towns have been leveled. Uh, they're rebuilding, but it takes time. Ami volunteers through Global Care Force, a nonprofit not based in Kyiv, but in Kansas. We've composed teams that have been providing service to nearly a thousand patients since we've started going over. The president and CEO of the organization says the volunteers all raised five thousand dollars before the trip to cover their personal expenses, allowing Global Care Force to pay for things like medications for issues that have been missed for too long. It's playing a lot of catch up on a lot of these patients. And there's the injuries you just can't miss. There's a gentleman that I got hit with shrapnel in his foot, got infected, laid in a ditch to um, keep from being detected by Russian forces for like three days. These people are in desperate need of uh, support to continue their fight. Thank you that you are willing to help. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.